Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little lidded box. I love a lidded box. I love a little box that is good for holding all sorts of stuff. So this is finishing up at, um, let me get the lid on, four by four by two inches, which is 10 by 10 by uh, five centimeters. So a good size box. So you could, you know, tissue at the bottom, little treats and goodies inside or something like that. But it's using, the new countless tree stamp set. So this is in the mini catalogue. This one over here, this catalogue, so it's page 47, um, down here, but each of these stamp sets is, uh, each of these stamp sets, each of, each of these stamps is double-sided. So you stamp one side and you stamp the other side. So let me get the box. That just fell on the floor. Let me get the box built up first. So the base cardstock, eight by eight inches, 20 by 20 centimeters. Um, this time I've gone for mint macaron. This was soft succulent and evening evergreen. So I, this time around I'm going mint macaron and shaded spruce. So eight by eight, six by six, um, and in metric 20 by 20, 15 by 15. Okay, oh, I just, shall I just bash everything and drop everything? Okay, so with the base of the cardstock, two inches or five centimeters on all four sides. Super duper mega simple. Okay, the lid, we're going to do it at one inch, but actually it's going to be like a hair of a whisper less than. So it's going to be about 15 sixteenths or about, so it's going to be about 2.3 centimeters. And the reason you adjust it very slightly is so that the lid slips over the base box and not buckle. Because if you make it the same size, you would end up with that because you would have to squish this in, but it's not. And you know, that lid is not coming off. It is, I, sh I had to shake it a lot for the lid to come off. Um, but yeah, so you don't get the buckling. You just get the nice smooth finish, and that's because you, you know, made the check. You made the adjustment. Okay, so so I'm going to burnish all of those and burnish all of this. There's something about a lidded box that is just, I don't know, it's like we're into posh gift territory. So you can see what I'm doing. I've just nicked out little bits there. Oh, Chris is just back on his motorbike. He's been out to get it MOT'd and he's probably going to forget that I'm filming. So if he walks in and says, hiya, that's him coming back. And he's also going to open the garage door, which is right below me. Um, but yeah, so a lidded box, it's, it kind of is, you know, you go to a posh shop and you say, they say, would you like it gift packaging? Yes, please. And it comes in a beautiful lidded box. That's what I see. That's what I think of when I see a lidded box. So, okay. So I'm just doing exactly the same on the lid. There goes the garage door. You possibly can't hear it. He's, um, Chris loves to adapt to all his things, so he's got motorbikes and, you know, cars and what have you. And um, he set it with his motorbikes. We've got an electric garage door because it's a great big heavy double door. And um, it's on a, a motor and he set it so that he can flash his um, headlights on his motorbike and the garage door opens up. So he's just done that <laughs> right below where I am. Um, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for tear and tear. Oh, it's right next to me. So actually, shall we go a little bit faster? Let's use seal plus. Oh, seal plus with something attached to it. So I'm just going to put um, some on either on all of these tabs. Oh, we got slippage. There we go. So you just fold them round. <laughs> he's just turned all my lights off. Oh, he's a rat bag. We have um, Echo Dots all over the house. And when there was the Prime Day sale back in July, we bought loads of smart plugs. I already had a bunch in here. He th just thinks it's really funny. He's such a prankster to um, turn lights on and off in different rooms. Last night I was shouting at her, you know, 
kitchen lights off and he was in the lounge turning them back on again for me. Always useful. Okay. Right, so, yeah, so that was Mint Macaroni Shaded Spruce. A really lovely combination. And that lid is just going to slip over just nicely and it's not going to come off because we made that tiny little bit of adjustment. Okay, so I've put a nice little border around this one. So it's a four inch, um, 20, 10 centimetre. So I'm reckoning, I used cardstock before, but I've only got a full sheet of mint macaron. So I'm going to use this. This is the designer series paper and I'm going to cut it to three and a half, so nine centimetres, nine by nine. And then I'm going to put a little white panel over the top and make that three and a quarter or eight and a half. So nine by nine for your um, pattern paper, nine by nine and eight and a half by eight and a half for your white or three and a half by three and a half and three and a quarter for that. Lovely. Right, let's do some stamping. So countless trees. And then my sentiment is from Charming Sentiments. So I went with this one before. It's like a big old sort of, well, I don't know what that is. I'd, I want to say a palm tree, but it's actually a palm tree I'm going to work with this time. So I want, you see, only need two stamps for this. This is how clever it is. Okay, let me get some blocks. I'm going to get a long thin for the, want it the other way up. So I'm going to go, I've got two colours, and you could, to be fair, stamp off first. Um, so I've got the paler, I've got Sahara Sand. I've got it there. Oh, I probably should have stamped that off. Let's lose, use the emergency spare side and the scratch pad. There we go, and then I've got my stamp and scrub over here so this is the wet side because it's got a little raindrop and then here's the sunshine and that's the dry so you put your stamping mist on there and then you scrub 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 dry 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 but it's just off camera and that's really just so I don't get inky and then you take it you take your stamp <clears throat> and turn it over you're going for a different color and like I say you could stamp off and use the darker of that one but I'm going to use soft suede and ju just go over the top go over the top when you're looking so clean clean dry dry and I want to put that back so it's quite a little diddy thing so that's one and I'm going to I'm just going to test this to see how dark it comes out so the mint macaron is not too dark that's good so, oh, I put it too far over. <laughs> Just try all of that again. Let's try that again. What did I say? Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how about if I stamp the top first? That might make some more sense. So I'm cleaning, cleaning, dry, dry. And then <laughs> come in with my darker colour. And so that is the mint macaron for the paler, shaded spruce for the darker. Let me just put some stamping mist on. Oh, I've just twanged that across the room. I'll pop it all on here and then let's try again with this one. So Sahara Sand. It's a bit dark so I'm going to stamp it off on there. Oops. Then on there. Clean, clean, dry, dry so I don't get my hands dirty. Oops. And then turn it over and use the other side. the 
soft suede and see if I can get this lined up a bit better this time. Straight over the top, clean, clean, dry, dry. Put that away because it's a skinny little thing. And then just to finish, these sentiments. So this is Charming Sentiments. And I went super fantastic mega news. Faith over fear. Everything will be okay. And when you, the actual stamps are a little bit bigger than on here. So you kind of just need to make sure that it will fit into whatever gap you've got. Thank you, will fit. Beyond Grateful. Oh, you see, we could put Beyond Grateful, which is this one. And you could put some nice little goodies or treats. I'm grabbing Shaded Spruce. Beyond Grateful down there. Clean, clean, dry, dry. Because seriously, I would lose everything. If you haven't heard it before, said by me, you don't put it down, you put it away. Then you don't lose anything. And some stamping seal here. Pop it over the top. Onto the top of my box. And that, whoopsie, if I don't boot it around the place, is a great little box. I think they're lovely. And I like the two different sets of green. So, yeah, shaded spruce and mint macaron. Soft, no, that would appear to be mint macaron. So it hasn't been soft succulent at all. Both mint macaron bottoms, evening evergreen top, shaded spruce top. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.